Hello and welcome. I don't normally do a video like this, but I've seen a couple and I thought, what the hell? I might as well. Um, this is just uh, it's just like a load of games. Everyone knows I'm big uh, a big gamer, um, and I play all types of consoles and things like that. I haven't got an Xbox One yet. Uh, I might get one sometime this year, 2015. Um, but in the meantime, this is just like a little horde of games that I've recently um, bought. It does serve a purpose, other than just showing you what I've bought. It serves a purpose in that I'm going to do some unboxings and uh, just you know, give you a bit of information in uh, about each game. I might want to do game reviews in the future. Uh, I think they are useful and it kind of, you know, gives you a bit of a bit of an idea about what the game is is about because I know that not everybody like me tries to get games on the release day or before the release day so and these games I've bought these because I've watched a load of reviews um, and read a lot a lot of reviews um, so anyway hope this video is useful although I use knives everywhere for all my packages all my boxes everything I don't necessarily use a lot of knives for opening video games um, I know that's a big shock. Uh, so what I normally do with with them is uh, take this game, which is Wolfenstein. Um, it's basically it's a it's a game whereby it's kind of like what from what I understand, if the Nazis won the war and the whole of the future is completely changed. Um, so you basically are looking at it from a perspective of this this chap and he has to fight the Nazis in in the future basically and um, because they've gone and changed a lot of things uh, yeah 1960 won the war and then you've got a um, the impossible counter offensive so it, it looked quite an interesting game and it's a first person shooter and all that. so yeah I don't really use knives look as you can see I just use the the actual case uh, wrapping so <laughs> I did just open it there um, right so what do you get well obviously you get the game on the PS4 if you wanted to know it's 49 gigabytes uh, I'm almost run out of space on my PlayStation 4 so I've bought a, a 2 terabyte internal hard drive to replace the I think it's about 400 gig really and it says 500 but they only give you about 400 something so uh, it, it, I've literally only got about seven games so it's used up all of that and um, with this new with this next generation or current generation because all the all the next generation consoles are out so we'd call it the current generation of, of video game consoles before you'd get a disc for a game and you put it in a console and you'd play it fine with the Xbox 360 uh, they brought this new thing in where you could actually install the disc onto the hard drive which uh, sped up loading times uh, saves things just things like that it, it's just more beneficial it reduced cooling reduced the noise uh, the disc span at the start to just start the, the game up but then it read all the, the data from the, the hard hard drive um, however within this next gen this this current generation like PS4, Xbox One, I'm not that sure about the Xbox One, but I know the PS4, think of that, but it takes up the whole of the disc and it's mandatory installs. I understand why they have to do it, but it doesn't necessarily install the whole game, it just creates the space of the game for, for like caching, so it, it um, can pull some information from the disc and some from the hard drive to make just, just in sync, in, in synchrony so it it overall generates a much smoother game and experience the downside of that is although we're in you know two terabyte hard drives and things like that nowadays it's still the whole technology still cannot cope with you know a huge gaming library and when I say huge I mean anything over seven games really but anyway so if you wanted to know uh, it's 49 gig I'll be doing another video about the next generation, the current generation, and installs, and I'll also be doing an e an extra video about how to, well, one replace your hard drive, and two how you can reduce, you know, the the amount of data that you, you know, you've 
is, is being used up basically. So Wolfenstein, it looked quite interesting, first person shooter, got some okay reviews so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, Drive Club, now when this first came out it was an absolute mess um, and I'm, I'm happy to say that Sony and PlayStation they basically uh, said oh we're, we're going to give you a, a free version which has a few locations and then you can upgrade to the full full price game later on uh, that didn't happen um, I wouldn't like to say they lied because you know unless it's like written down on paper that we were definitely going to get 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 this it's it's a bit bit difficult to say however they didn't deliver on that um because it was a bit of a shambles i don't know whether that was the main reason uh but either way this game now i think i got it for about 20 odd pounds something like that and to upgrade anyway is about 35 pounds so i did the math and obviously just buying it separately is better and they've they've patched it they've really worked hard on it and it's actually a releasable game now um so I'm going to have a go on this and I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but Drive Club, it looked amazing. And because I've got a PlayStation 4, if I had an Xbox One, Forza Horizons and Forza 5, you know, without a doubt, I'd, I'd get them. Because I know that they're just excellent games. But I've got a PS4, so this is what I've got. Um, Drive Club, it seems good. The snow effects, the rain effects look absolutely incredible. If you want to know how big it is, it's 17 gigs. So that will easily fit on my PlayStation at the moment. Just do a little bit of an unboxing. Again, I don't use knives when I open games. I use the, the tabs. I don't know why, I just always have. Uh, is there any kind of code? No, it just gives you the, the default controls and there's the disc. Excellent. So, uh, these are all new. Um, the slip cases, they're not these are brand new I can tell they smell new they they just they are new and um, the slip cases that they're in these uh, were a bit scuffed on the side but that's actually the slip cases they're not you know another company um, that will get a used copy and then wrap it in cellophane um, I bought all these from shop 2 quite happy to say that uh, I did have a few misgivings about shop 2 a while ago um, I think three games didn't arrive or I had problems with three games in a row and that really put me off but I decided to take the plunge again and uh, shop2.net uh, is a little bit like game they've got quite big now because they are offering finance on a lot of things which and they and they've also widened out to sell like apple products and football but it's just really strange what they're selling now and um, but before they used to be only about games and they used to only be about um, games, they had a little robot, massive ro robot I suppose, went down, picked your game up, packaged it and it's it sent to you within 5-10 minutes, it was really really quick, they still are really really quick, um, but like game they've got a reward based system, um, the more you spend uh, the you then get a, a discount, you can get a bronze mem membership, silver and gold, if you get a uh, and then and then the percentage Discounts are obviously depends what what mem what colour member you are really, um, if that makes sense. Unlike game where you buy something and you build up some points on a card or a rewards card, and you can just cash in those points. Shop two, you get the discount at the checkout. You know, like when you click buy, it automatically applies that discount, which is better. I don't know. I'd much rather have the. Uh, you know reward system I'd, I'd rather have any reward system for any game shop games workshop obviously you know but there there is uh, 3ds got super smash bros for 3ds i got super smash bros for the wii u so i thought i might as well get it for 3ds as well uh, there's a few things that have changed you can transport your a character over things like that yeah you can show you customized characters and it's just nice to have super smash bros on the on the move and um, 3DS is an incredible system. It's got incredible games. It really has. Uh, go on Metacritic, look at all the top games. Um, it's been out quite a while now though. What, three, four years? 3DS has? About four years. Super Smash Bros, let's see what we get. Again, I don't use a knife. Right. I know that there is a code in here, but it's always locked, locked away. So that's the that's your little disc. 
little bit strange. It's got 12 and um, it's in German. I think sometimes, ger I mean, if a game is for Europe, sometimes a lot of things are in German, which is a bit strange, but I've definitely got the English one. <laughs> I know that. Um, right, and then you get your, your pin for your Nintendo Club. If you haven't joined Nintendo Club, you, you really need to, but just keep an eye on your emails and things because they, they had a, a thing not you know, a while ago, quite a few years ago, where they just removed all of your stars, which got me really annoyed. Um, that's Super Smash Bros. 3D. Super Mario 3D World, excellent game, apparently. I've looked at lots of reviews, watched reviews. Um, it came out a good couple of years ago now, or even 2013, actually. But uh, everybody was raving about this, and you got to love Mario. The thing is, with all Nintendo games, you don't have this mandatory install. You don't have DLC. Yeah, you do have DLC with Mario Kart. Okay, I get that. Um, but how much was that DLC? And I'm just comparing what Nintendo are doing with all the so-called big, you know, gaming companies like like Sony and like um, Microsoft, uh, and they're just getting away with you know for for nintendo to make mainly own, mainly their own games and not to completely fleece people with dlc and a lot of content and removing content to sell it later on and season passes and all that lot i mean they could have shipped mario kart with eight tracks and had you know put a season pass in for 30 quid and they could release you know four new tracks every couple of months but they're not like that they don't do that um and I think the gaming community is is slowly coming to terms with that. I think I think personally, the the best kind of combination in this is just my eyes is a Wii U and a and a hardcore gaming PC like a big thirty inch monitor something like that and a Wii U and then you've got the best of both worlds. But hey, you know you can get all of the consoles and the the PC and things like that. But uh, I think if you've just got money for for that, I think that's the best way to go. Right, um, again, some more points, and that's what the disc looks like. So, I think they're all in, um, yeah, so that's that. And then finally, very late to the party, this came out like three years ago, um, with the release of the Wii U as well. I really wanted to get new Super Luigi Bros as well, um, even though it didn't get amazing reviews. I just wanted it to go with this, and now I think Super Luigi Bros. You can get it as DLC, but it's like twenty-five quid, which is double what I paid for this. Um, but uh, it'd just be nice to see Mario games in HD finally. You know. Nintendo spent all of last generation with the, with the Wii um, having everything in standard def, because I wouldn't really classify 480p as HD. Uh, so this is this one. Again, more stars, and that's what the disc looks like. What's this? No, just control scheme and things. So the one thing they could do, though, I think um, that the bigger manufacturers are doing now is just don't have any of that. Just have your manual on the disc, and then have that through the gamepad or or through the screen. So a nice little hoard. Um, I won't be buying many games for a while now for the Wii U. Uh, a couple of them are very difficult to get hold of at the moment uh, but the 3DS I'm going to try and get two games a month something like that um, to build up my collection. I will be doing a collection of sorts of all my games so please put it in the comments which game console you want me to show the collection. My collection. I've got obviously I've got my PlayStation. I've got a PlayStation 2 uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, I've got Xbox One, would you really call it an Xbox One? Well, the old Xbox, uh, 360, uh, Wii U, Wii, uh, GameCube, DS, 3DS, Game Boy, you name it, I've got it, except for an Xbox One. Uh, so, whichever gaming collection, my 360 gaming collection is the largest, I think I have about... 300 more than 300 games so if you want to see that put it in the comment and whichever one gets the most comments and requests then i will put that whole collection up 
Anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thanks for watching. Take care.